Quick greetings and welcome to MTG Cards and Review. My name is Chris, and today is the 19th of May, and we are doing a mail day video. So I got today a uh, package for I got my uh, Undergirl Games uh, Chaos bundle. Now, just to be noticed and fair, uh, it did arrive in basically the plain white box. However, for for the purposes of this video and everything, I opted to use my previous Underworld Games Chaos Bundle box to basically kind of do the uh, opening and everything. However, before we get into that though, I do want to make a quick note here though. Uh, I am going to be uh, working on getting the uh, cards mailed out though, uh, here short, soon though. Uh, from the battles that I did uh, that you guys saw uh, I do want to note that one of the battles that, did, that basically I did though unfortunately I'm not sure what happened to the video uh, it did not apparently survive or get recorded or something uh, but anyway uh, Mr. Ryan Watt here did win uh, a battle though and I'm going to go through and show the uh, rare and mythic cards that he won uh, that will be uh, getting mailed out here uh, to him uh, and as I noted it, when I was baking that, making that recording though uh, we've got here uh, Junji the Midnight Sky uh, is that uh, at this point though I will mail uh, basically just really the hits if it's leaving the country though and going uh, abroad uh, as unfortunately though the uh, cost of uh, shipping things internationally has become quite uh, unfortunately quite more expensive though uh, if uh, on the other hand you know what we're just going to kind of thumb through here uh, if on the other hand move that aside for the moment just to show here uh, so if on the other hand lose my train of thought here uh, if you want to, if you're uh, basically uh, international though, uh, and I believe Mr. Watt is over, uh, is in Canada though, uh, I'll have to double check, I've got his mailing information and everything, but uh, internationally though, uh, what I will do is I will mail the hits though, if you want more of the cards though, uh, let me know and get with me and we will work something out though on basically on what that would entail though uh, to get those to you um, so that we can figure out which of the actual uh, basically hits that you want to receive are though and that uh, then we can get those out to you and uh, anything that you don't uh, basically want though that and uh, we will uh, hold off and set aside though uh, at that point though and then if uh, in the future uh, something changes though I can look at basically getting you the cards that but usually uh, I'm gonna say that most uh, people uh, oh, okay let me take that back uh, so here's the ones that you had won though from the the first group was cards that were in your side. These were the ones you won from the battle against your opponent though, which I could dig and try to find, but either way you won. Uh, March of the Wretch or March of Wretched Sorrow. Uh, Avon Heart Stabber. And then that was it though for that. I'm just sorting these as I'm going through to show you basically the commons and uncommons though and so if you uh, Mr. Watt if you see anything that you want uh, beyond the um, uh, beyond what I've already set aside though in the rare pile though uh, you know let me know like I said we'll get that uh, sorted out though and then uh, we will go ahead and uh, get that 
out to you here. There's an omnixilis in the art for work format. Um, so, but as part of that, though, I'm just kind of going through here just to uh, kind of basically uh, show what uh, is available, though, and that way, uh, basically, you can let me know uh, what you want to do, and then we'll. Uh, get that sorted out though again like I said I'm, I did the battle I recorded I well, I thought I recorded it though I'm guessing that at some point though either I didn't record it though um, or something happened at that point though but uh, I wanted to go ahead and get this done I just didn't have the time to get to it until now and so figured it was a good way to start off and get that out there so I've got those set aside. Now we're going to move on to our chaos bundle. I'm going to open this up and share this and then get this out and loaded. Uh, all right, so you know, what we're going to do is we're going to leave that in there. Kind of for a surprise. So we got a Streets of New Capenna draft booster. So we're going to open this up and see what we find in here. And then we'll basically go through. I'm just going to kind of thumb through the comments though, uh, as usual. We're going to zoom that in, out, zoom back in just a little bit so you guys can see further though. I may bring the position of the camera down a little further though uh, to at this point though but I want to be able to have the opportunity to have enough room to be able to show the uh, basically <laughs> cards on the table uh, and to have room to be able to share that okay we've got uh, we jumped there but we got our rare we've got Tolozar the clever or Tolozar clever conductor there's no the in there and an arc spitter for a foil, which foils are not really that, and a punch out token, which, you know, those are uh, kind of basically a dime a dozen. Maybe not a dime. Maybe they're my, maybe we're like a nickel. Uh, anyway, so got call time next. So in here, I would say that, of course, either we're looking for. Uh, a land or the nice uh, gold dragon, you know, gold span. And go ahead and go through our commons here. See what we find. And so I will say if anyone sees anything that though uh, in the cards though that you might be looking for. Arnie Broken Brow is our rare. Let me know and uh, we'll talk and see what we might be able to do. Uh, King Harold's Revenge and a replicated ring for our token. So we are moving on to the next pack and now Commander Legends, this is going to be our next pack. Now, if this has uh, anything that is like a, you know, Jeweled Lotus, though, um, Mana Drain, something like that, some of the bigger hits, though, uh, we'll have to, I might be willing to trade, but otherwise I'm probably going to hold on to it, though. Um, speaking of Commander Legends, we have more information coming out about the new Commander Legends and Baldur's Gate though. Uh, one of the main uh, mineral characters from uh, Forgotten Realms is showing up in this edition of uh, the uh, basically with Baldur's Gate though from Forgotten Realms and that is Elminster or however you want to pronounce. Uh, so we've got legendary wizard showing up there 
Uh, there are a bunch of others though, so it'll be interesting to see which of the other um, characters that are quite uh, legendary and pronounced in the uh, Forgotten Realms uh, setting though show up and make it to uh, this edition of Baldur's Gate or the, with the Commander of the Legends and who doesn't make that list because then that may tell us whether there is potentially a, another round of basically uh, expansion or another basically set that uh, may come from draw from the Forgotten Realms uh, area though and also I will be interested to see if some point uh, they don't uh, try to bring um, basically characters from Dragonlance into uh, Magic the Gathering as well alright so moving right along here okay well we're gonna find ourselves in the Mythic it is Port Razor that is a uh, okay so that is our mythic and then we hit uh, another uncommon there ardent intrepid archaeologist and rupture spire as a foil and a soldier token okay so uh, at this point though we are now down to the basically our next coming packs though uh, first one that we're running up against is going to be Eighth of Revolt and of course with these though uh, with this one and I think the remaining two that are still hiding in there this is where we're going expedition hunting um, and seeing if we find uh, basically is it expedition or was it uh, lottery sorry going lottery hunting oh. all right so let's see if we can find a lottery card in this eighth revolt pack or if we can find uh, basically one of the uh, uh, bigger hits so like a mechanized uh, production or uh, a walking ballista uh, metal mimic playing a bridge though so we'll see what we find in here Hopefully you guys uh, give me good luck and see what we get. Right, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of walk through our cards here. Cruel Finality, High Spire Infusion, Aether Inspector or Aether Inspector, however you want to say that. Implement a Malice. A Reservoir Walker. Uh, Frigri Crawler. That looks like a... It's a well, it's an insect. Kind of looks like a centipede to me, though. Restoration Specialist. For our first uncommon. And a Ridge Scale Tusker. Right. And the Hidden Stockpile. And what do we got next here? We got a looks like a rare. We have a green belt rampager. And then our land and a tropter token. Okay. So uh green belts uh, doesn't look like it's in the top though of the list. And neither is we didn't see Fatal Push though in our uncommons or Felidar uh, something so it looks like the uh, Aether Revolt pack uh, didn't bring us anything uh, basically spicy though so we will have to move on to our next option now. Which is going to be Oath of the Deep Watch. So, 
maybe we'll find something here with both of the gate watch. Alright, so obviously we're still looking for a lottery card, but there are a couple of good hits in the uh, basically in here as well that maybe we'll find though. And so we are going to go ahead and hop into this. Get this uh, pack open here and start it though. See what we can find. Slip through space. A slaughtered drone. Lead by example. Hold out settlement. A gravity negator. Bone saw. Expedition Raptor. Tar snare. Kazul's Troll Collector. Or Toll Collector. Kazul's Toll Collector. For first uncommon. And Relentless Hunter. And we've got Flying Tendrils. And what do we got here? We've got a well, we got a rare. We've got Goblin Dark Dwellers. We've got a full art land. That's nice. And a token. Okay. So Goblin And doesn't look like the goblins are going to be uh, in the real help. Uh, in fact, it looks like really, yeah, okay. So, yeah, nothing there though. Alright, so we're on to our basically the last uh, chance here. Uh, in this set, though, or in this basically uh, chaos bundle, I uh, signed up though and basically uh, got the, this is the May one uh, from Underworld Games, and I have uh, signed up though. I basically went ahead and opted to go ahead and get it, do a three or a four round. So I'm hoping that basically have some more luck though. Uh, we'll see what we can find in this battle bond pack. Uh, I will say that I uh, really do consider that I was quite uh, fortunate though at one point uh, to actually uh, find a real basically hit though. Looks like I was going. Yeah, I was planning to show that. That looks like I may have to. I gotta fix something here first. Okay. So what I was going to show is that um, is that what I got out of one of the uh, yeah, here it is. So out of one, uh, I think it might have came from this basically the, this chaos bundle box thing. Probably did. And that was the uh, expedition, the overgrown tomb, and the uh, shiny foil uh, version there. So, you know, if you guys get the chance, go check out Underworld Games. And uh, he's doing, of course, his regular bundles like this. Uh, and then, depending on how many regular ones he's built, he looks like he's doing or going to do at least a couple of mini um, versions though just to uh, basically clear out some uh, basically extra packs that he might get though and as a way to uh, uh, basically create a little new fun uh, mystery or chaos uh, bundle. So Battle Bond, Battle Bond, Battle Bond we are looking for doubling season this would be the uh, basically the hit in the actual pack, though, if we don't find a lottery card. Uh, and then uh, there are some other really good top tier 
uh, cards in this pack as well. Hopefully we have uh, some luck though. But either way, this has been fun though. Guys, I appreciate you watching this though. And uh, we, uh, we'll see if we might be able to get lucky here. I don't think I've ever. So, Battle Bond is one that I, uh, a set I have not opened up there. The other ones uh, I have opened, I do believe. Uh, Oath of the Gate Watch and Aether Revolt, I definitely opened because I did a. Uh, uh, you guys may not have seen it yet, but I did a uh, uh, bundle opening of Aether Revolt that will basically be coming at some point. Okay, so now. Okay, so we got a token on top and then a land. Okay, so I was just checking to make sure that we didn't have anything coming up there. Okay, so we got Lightning Talons as a foil. Okay, so. Okay. So it looks like then that okay. So we're gonna flip that. Looks like that the uh, basically the card that we were looking at a four though would be basically the next card though behind the lightning or the card there. So we're gonna go ahead and go through here. We had a uh, tan tandem tactics, uh, and then uh, there's an assassinate to go with our Aurora champion. Warp, wrap in flames, or warp in flames. We've got a Urbog Drake, fetal ground, fertile ground, fertile ground. Saltwater Stalwart Battle Rampart for a wall creature Votian Soldier or Votian Soldier and then we come into our Lightning Talons in foil now okay yep so I gotta fix that so I'm gonna go ahead and flip those over get to our uncommon cards Soul Blade Corruptor, a Soul Blade Renewer, an Inner Demon, and yes, back to our Lightning Talons. So, what did we find here? It is going to be a rare. Together Forever. Together Forever. So, Together Forever is not one of the top tier cards or rares that we're looking for. Diabolic Intent or Spell Seeker, uh, Morphic Pool, Luxury Suite, uh, Sea Clouds, Fire, and yep, yeah, so. Okay, well, looks like that uh, we kind of struck out here, though, on our. Basically, look though. Uh, apparently, Sky Shroud Clan claim is a common card that is uh, basically about a two to three dollar card. Though I don't think we found that, and I don't think we found the uh, Paragen Drake though. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to say that I basically Together Forever is probably one of the not so great uh, rare cards to find there. <laughs> uh, well, you know, sometimes you, you do good and sometimes you don't. Yeah, Together Forever. Uh, about a 50 cent card though if you're lucky. Okay. Uh, and our lightning talons uh, basically 
and a foil version about eight cents. Okay. Well, guys, you know, sometimes you you strike pay dirt, and other times you hit the you strike um basically a uh, sewer pipe. So. <laughs> But you know what? It was fun, guys. I appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. And uh, thanks for uh, hanging out, though. Uh, and uh, we will catch you in the next video. Oh, yeah. I, I, one quick thing. I'm digging through my cards, though, and I did find a, a nice uh, stack, a stash of uh, basically uh, old lands from Mirage, though, uh, that... Uh, I will basically uh, gladly uh, be uh, holding on to, and then some Urza uh, Saga, I think it is, uh, lands as well. There's some old border common lands, though. So, you know, uh, not uh, alpha, beta, or though, uh, card types, and not any real, uh, basically, major cards like, a, you know, like your. Uh, Scalding Tarns, though, or one of the cards from uh, the uh, Battle Bond set, but hey, I am quite happy. I'll take what you know what I can find or what I've got, and uh, yeah, share it with you guys, and we will catch you in the next video. Have a great day, guys.